Okay, so I did manage to get Ubuntu Mate working with Berry Boot. This isn't Ubuntu Mate, this is Raspbian. Uh, but if I just shut down and restart, you'll see that Ubuntu Mate will come up. But I wanted to show this in real time because uh, it's not perfect. Uh, there were errors using Berry Boot Converter. It does take longer to start up than an SD card. Once it's running, it seems all right though. So this is the uh, Ubuntu Mate Berry Boot hit boot. So this is how long it takes to start up. And also it shows quite a few errors. So it sticks on this for quite some time. And it looks like it's not going to work, but if you bear with it, it does eventually work. I am going to uh, provide an image, not this particular image, but I'm going to do a clean image because I've been playing around and installing things and putting a desktop on and logging into YouTube and Netflix. So I don't want to obviously put that image out, but uh, I'll put a completely stock image out. Uh, so I'll create one for an SD card and I'll also create one for Berry Boot. The reason I'll do one for an SD card is some people haven't got access to a wired network connection, which is what you need to set up Ubuntu Mate. Um, so I'll provide that one that you can just download and use Raspberry Pi Imager to put on an SD card and use. You may need to expand the partition to get all the available space, but I'll find that out later. Uh, and also I'll do a Berry Boot one. So if you're already running a Berry Boot system, you'll just be able to download the image and uh, pop that onto a USB stick and then it will boot. I'm stalling here because it looks like it's not working, but it is It is working. It, uh, it just, when it goes past this, I can't remember if you have to press escape or enter, but at one point it gets past this. It's almost like it gives up uh, trying to say it's failed and then it decides that it's gonna do something. There you go, that was the change. So I didn't cut any of that sequence out. Uh, now it's properly booting. So uh, I'll include the screenshot for this so that you can see uh, I'll include the screen capture for this so you can see it properly working. There you go, so now I can log in. Okay, so I've switched solely over to screen capture now and just to show you that it's that it's working and it's working nice and fast, just as it was, I mean it was with the SD card to be fair. Uh, also mine's overclocked to 2.1. Uh, I'll not overclock the image that I upload, the Berry Boot image and the stock image. There you go, you see it's, it's switched to 2.1 gigahertz there. And if we do a search, and then, I've had some people saying that the 1080 performance wasn't good. I don't get it. Uh, I, the performance has been brilliant for me. Really, really good. And you can see super smooth scrolling. So I won't go through that because I've done all of that. I installed the Synaptic store and also the software store. I had a question of how you find the software boutique. Uh, you can just type in BOU and it comes up and you can just click on it. So that's how you normally install apps. But you can also install apps through the terminal uh, if you wish to. Now I did, uh, if I look in my files, there's a few things that I didn't get to work on this, which are quite important to me if I'm going to use this as my, I mean, I'll always use Raspbian as well. Um, but uh, the things that I couldn't get to work, if I go to documents, uh, were, so Raspberry Pi Imager, I did follow some instructions to install that, but I reckon it's installed in the x86 version. So the one for desktop computers, not for an ARM computer. So it does work in Raspberry Pi OS, so we know it can work. Uh, Belena Etcher, uh, couldn't find a way of installing that that worked. Um, but uh, I know that Monkajaro has put Belena Etcher in various different distros and that works really well. And also SD card copier. So if people know alternatives of these that are very easy to install in Ubuntu on an ARM processor, I'd be very interested. But uh, anyway, that's that's the plan. I'll go through how to create an SD card installation. I'll also go through how to convert to Berry Boot, how to save an image uh, in the next video. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.